Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, my name is Katie and in this video I'm going to be testing out my Cohorted Beauty box for February, it's February right? Yes. I didn't do one for last month's Cohorted Beauty box because there wasn't like a lot of makeup in there from what I remember, I think it was mostly like skincare things. It was actually a pretty good box but it just, I didn't think it would make a very good video for testing out makeup because I can't even remember if there was any makeup items in it. So, um, this month, however, we have got quite a few makeup items to try out, so that's what we'll be doing today. Had a bit of an issue with their booklet, um, I don't know what happened exactly, but nobody got the little booklets that contains all the product information, but they did send like a link, which I'll read from on here. So apparently the box value was £101. So I will just talk through the products first and then I'll get to trying some of them out. Okay, so the first product is this thing here. This is called the Sanat Sanatio Naturalis. God knows if I said that right. Um, it is the Sweet Orange Pure Essential Oil and it's worth £15. So it says here, um, Sweet orange is a rich source of vitamin C, add it to your regular skincare routine. It's a great tonic for the skin, mix a drop into your cream to help refresh, detoxify and rejuvenate the skin. It contains powerful antioxidant defence against free radicals and helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and dark spots and leaves skin with a radiant youthful glow, especially good for dull, mature, oily and acne prone skin. Uh, I didn't realise this was a skincare product, I thought it was like a bath thing, but um, it also says here, relaxing bath treatment, add two drops of sweet orange essential oil, two drops of, I just list a load of other products that we obviously don't have. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm guessing you can put this in your bath as well. And it also says room aroma and aromatherapy massage. I don't know. Um, I didn't realise this was a skincare product, I might put a little bit of on my skin then, because I've not got any makeup on yet. Um, yeah, I'll just probably put a little bit of that on my skin and just rub it in and see what happens. And I think I will try it out in the bath at some point, don't know when, but I kind of want to see what it's like. It does smell absolutely gorgeous. The packaging's really weird because you've got this like kind of bulky box, but then you open it and it's like only this tiny little bottle. The packaging seems a little bit unnecessary to me. It actually smells amazing. I had this, um, oh, what was it? I had like this hair oil thing from a brand called Hask. It smells exactly like that. It's just so orangey. Oh, I love it though. It's amazing. I can't wait to put this on my skin actually. I'm happy that you can put it on your skin. I didn't realise you could. Okay, so the next thing is this thing here. And this is the Ciate Dewy Stick Gleam. And it's worth £22. Oh my god. This is so hard to navigate on my phone. Like it, you see this, you try and like drag it. To the place and then it just bounces back and it's really irritating because i can't read it properly this is why i prefer the little books i mean i guess this is better for the environment okay so it says this convenient stick shines a gold hue of celestial duo chrome pearls that is translucent translucent adding depth and dimension to all skin complexions but why not get a glow on the go by sweeping onto the cheekbones with your fingertips or go bare and apply directly for an instant natural looking radiant glimmer the perfect finishing touch how to use glide the balm onto your cheekbones brow bones cupid bow and anywhere light would naturally hit your face so this is, is this a cream product so i don't know if i'd put it on like before my foundation or over the top of my foundation, I might try both, and then obviously I'd put it on before I set my face because otherwise it'd probably go all textured. I have swatched this and it is very, very, very glowy, but it's not like a really intense pigment. But it did say there that it's meant to be translucent, which I find a bit confusing, but that's what it looks like. It is a very just super, it's a super white kind of goldy colour. I've just done a little bit of a sweep there, I don't even know if you can see that. But it's just kind of like this kind of glittery glow type thing. It's not really like a rich pigmented kind of product. But I feel like it would just give you some like kind of glow and radiance to your face without it being like a intense highlight. So the next thing is actually a brush. I don't feel like we've had a brush before. Actually, no, that's not true. We did get this brush with the Vita Liberate Minerals quite a while back. Um, but this is the Cover FX Contour Brush, and it's worth £32. Jesus, that's an expensive brush. It says, a high-performance, cruelty-free, double-ended contour brush designed for seamless contouring and highlighting. Okay, so apparently you're supposed to use this for contour and highlight. It says, use the smaller end to apply contouring and the highlighting product precisely. 
then flip and use the larger end to blend. Okay. You don't necessarily have to use it for those specific things, but I mean, I guess. Let me just get it out. So this is what the brush looks like. So you've got this kind of, um, you look, the things are going all up. I don't know if that's because of the little container that I was in. Um, but obviously you've got this little small bit here and then you've got this bit here. I feel like this would actually probably work really well as like a highlight, a highlight brush. I think I might try it for that. I'm not really sure what I'd use this for, I guess. Would it blend out concealer maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. I guess it would work for contouring. Yeah, I might try it for contouring and then use this side for highlight. I think that could work for highlight really well. It does feel quite soft and nice. This end is, this end seems better and like I'd get more use out of it than this end. Especially because I'm getting these little spindly bits here, which is not ideal. Okay, so the next product is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Highlighter Palette. That's worth £16 and I had a bit of a disaster with this, to be honest. Um, I'll get this out properly in a minute, but I don't know if you were to see that because my stupid damn lights. But one of the pans in this has just completely bust which I was so upset when I opened my box and I saw this. I have emailed Cohorted about it and they've said they're gonna send me a replacement, but obviously it's not on here in time for this video and I've got limited time that I can film. So I'll just have to use the broken one for this video. Luckily it is just one shade, so I can still use the other shades in here. I actually really wanted to kind of use this palette as well, so um, I'm really happy to get it and hopefully I will get a nice spanking new one soon. <laughs> but yeah, you've kind of got lots of highlights, but also some kind of like things that I could probably use as bronzers as well, so I am excited to try this. It's literally just like powder everywhere from where it's broke. Like I can't even hold it up to the pan really because it's just, look at this, this is just a disaster. I mean, I understand, like, things can go wrong in the shipping and stuff, so let's just hope my new one gets here and it's not got this issue. I'm doing a full face of NYX makeup. I'm going to film that tomorrow as well, so this might come in handy for this. I'm not really going to read out the information about that because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a highlighting palette. The last thing is also from Ciarte. This is the Ciarte Chiselle Eyeliner, and apparently it is worth... 16 pounds. It says that it's infused with Ciate London's proper proper propriety pigment I don't I hate words preserve formula for a carbon black smudge proof high gloss finish for unbeatable definition. It says for directions to hold at 90 degrees, sweep along the upper lash line from the inner to the outer corner of the eye for perfect skinny liner. Angle the chisel tip to create dramatic winged out cat eyes in an instant. Yes, it does have a bit of a strange nib. I will just get it out of the packaging to show you. It is a full size one as well, which is super good because the um, the Ico one we got a couple months back was not a full size. But yeah, that's what the nib looks like. Just wait for my camera to focus on it. It has got like a bit of an angle to it. Like, I don't know how to describe that, but it's interesting. I've never seen a full tip liner like this and I'm kind of curious to see what it's like to use. <laughs> so that is all of the products. So I'm gonna get to trying them on my face now. I have to say from first impressions, other than the disaster with the NYX palette, I do quite like the look of the box and the products in it. The seeming as the sweet orange essential oil is actually meant to be a skincare thing, I may as well just smother a little bit of this on my face. Why not? Let's just do it. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be really runny or, oh, it just falls out. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, it's going everywhere. Oh my god, this is weird. I am just literally gonna rub some of this on my face. Okay, so I've put a little bit of that on. Um, I'm not sure I like the kind of like applicator just because it just kind of go everywhere and it just kind of ended up all over my hands really but I have to say it does feel incredibly nice in the skin it feels like it's super nourishing and I love the smell it smells amazing I really like this I think I will add this to my everyday every day every day I think I will be adding this to my everyday skincare routine just put a little bit of this over the top of moisturizer if I've got the time for it anyway and yeah cool it does just kind of disappear into your skin as well. It doesn't really leave like any kind of cast or anything. So as you can see, I've done my eye makeup, so I might as well just go in with this eyeliner now. The Ciarte Chisel Eyeliner. I'm not the best at winged liner, and I have no idea how to use this. Um, 
Do I do it like that or like that or what? I don't know. We're just gonna experiment. Okay. Okay, what the fuck is this eyeliner? <laughs> Please ignore this. This is terrible. Um, I find it quite hard to get a really precise kind of application with this. It's kind of just gotten very big and bulky. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing here, but let's just try the other eye. I just don't know the best way to like use this. They have turned out very thick and I don't know what the hell I've done here but I mean in terms of the pigmentation of the liner it's pretty good and the formula is pretty good. I just don't know if this applicator is the best for me. I don't know if it's the easiest to use and I find it a bit confusing but um, I mean I've definitely done worst wing liner in my life but it's just come out very bulky and I don't know, but um, I mean, I suppose it's a pretty good liner, I'm just not sure that I like the kind of applicator. I mean, they're, honestly, they're not that bad, they're just a lot larger than I wanted them to be, but they, they, they look okay, I guess. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara on my top lashes, BRB. I think I'm going to go in with the Ciate Dewy Stick thing. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this just under my foundation as well, just to see if it adds anything, and then... I'll also put a little bit on top of my foundation before I set it. Um, I think I will just stick to the kind of regular highlighty areas. Um, I might go a little bit more heavy handed with it just because this is quite subtle. And um, just lose my finger, kind of blend it a little bit. It's definitely a lot of glowiness. It's quite glittery. Um, but I quite like it. Yeah, I'm just going to basically put a load of this all over my face. <laughs> You probably won't be able to see it well on camera, but it does have a nice glowy, dewy look to it, which is actually quite pretty. I don't know if it's just going to completely disappear as soon as I put foundation on the top, but if it does, we will go in with some more. I'm just going to put some foundation and some concealer on, and then we'll come back and add some more of that dewy stick on. I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, I think. Okay, so I've just put some foundation and concealer on, and I do feel like there is definitely still some dew coming through from where I put that um, dew stick, but of course I am going to lay it on some on top. Sometimes I have problems with cream highlighters just blending really weird on top of foundation, which is why I don't normally reach for them. So we'll just kind of like see what happens with this. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to be a bit light-handed here. Um, and just kind of dab this in the usual areas I would highlight. I think I'll blend as I go, just with my little finger, and then I'll see what happens. See if I get any weird texture. So again, I just don't know if I like the way that these cream products blend on the top. Like, I feel like it kind of takes away a bit of the coverage of your foundation. Like, here and, like, here, I feel like it was well covered before, and, like, now I've put this on, it almost took away some of the coverage. This is why I'm not normally a fan of these. It has definitely given some dew, and it's definitely blended better than ones I've tried in the past. But, um, I mean, it does have a nice, refreshing look to it, so I'm not hating too much. I think maybe I would just stick to using it under foundation. I don't know. I guess I could see what it's like on top of powder, but I'm just very sceptical that that could go terribly wrong. I feel like I might as well use the Cover FX brush and use this little small side to do a bit of contouring before I set my face, because I always do my contouring before I set my face. Um, I'm going to use this NYX, I think they're called New Oh God! New Oh New Oh God! Oh God! New Oh God! New Oh God! NYX eyeshadow, I think they're called the Nude Matte Refills, and this one's in the shade Trist. It's a really good contour shade for me, so I think I'll use this to just contour my face. And as I said, using the smaller side of the Cover FX brush. It's definitely picking up a lot of product. And I guess I will just... Oh my god, I think I've put way too much on here. Okay, way too heavy handed. I'm just going to contour my usual places, my nose, keep, um, not my cupid's bow, I'm thinking highlighter here, 
uh, my nose, my jawline, my forehead, and um, my cheekbones. I mean, I feel like it applies it reasonably well. I do like it. I don't know if it's my favourite way of applying contour. I'm not sure. I'm just going to see how it blends out. I feel like it picks up the product quite harshly though, that brush. Just using an expert face brush to blend this contour out and then I'll use a sponge if I need to. So I'm just going to set my face with some powder and I might do my eyebrows as well. Okay, so I've got the NYX palette to try out now and to be honest, because of the like broken one, it's kind of stained some of the other colours in the palette. But I think I'm going to use this shade here. Uh, I can't even hold it up because that's all going to fall out if I do, but it's kind of like a bronzy, highlighty shade, and I think I will just use it as a bronzer. I'm going to use my own brush for that, and then I'll try out the Cover FX one for my actual highlight. Okay, so just going to go in and see if this warms up my face. Okay, I like that as a bronzer, it just gives you some warmth and some glow, very nice. The shade that's broken is kind of like a slightly deeper bronzy shade, which I feel like could work as a bronzer as well on me. I kind of want to use the white shade from the highlight, but then the white shade's also kind of got a bit of a bronzy stain in it, so I don't know how that would come out. Let me just kind of swish my fingers through it and see if I can get rid of the stain. No, I think I'm working it into the pan even more. Okay, actually, I think I'll use the lilac-y one at the top instead, which also has a little bit of staining, but... I'm going to go in with the lilac -y one at the top, which I can't even hold up to the freaking camera properly because it's just going everywhere. So I'm using the bigger side of the Cover FX brush and we'll see how this works for highlight. Okay, just going to place this on the cheekbones. Okay. Is it doing anything? Yeah, there's some glow coming through. I'm not sure how mad I am about this as a highlighter brush, but... I mean, there is some glow coming through. It just feels a little weird, this brush. This is a really pretty glow, actually. I do quite like it. I feel like I can't give my 100% honest opinion on this until I get my new one that has no smashedness in it because the fact that that colour's gotten into the other highlights is kind of affecting them as well. But this um, like purpley shade is coming out quite nicely, actually. I think I will go in with the white shade um, elsewhere. I'll go in with the white shade, my nose keeps a bone chin, but this might come out a little bit bronzy because there is still bronzer that has managed to get in it. I just realised I put lipstick on, it's a bit hard to highlight your keep as bone when you've got um, lipstick on. Yeah, this has definitely got some bronzer staying in it, which is not ideal for a highlight. I mean, it has got good pigmentation. It is actually quite nice. I just wish it didn't have bits of freaking bronzer meshed into it. I do think this highlight palette, oh my god, it's just all falling out everywhere. Has a lot of potential, but I can't give my 100% honest opinions until I get my new one. But I mean, it has given some good pigmentation and glow. I just feel like I've made a mess of my face. But I do think this palette has potential. little bit of this um, dewy stick thing by CRA on my lips, see what that does, see if it gives it any, I quite like that actually, hey this is quite a nice lip topper, I might just gently pat a tiny bit just over the top of that highlight and just a little bit, I don't think this is doing much but I'm not going to blend it because I feel like that's when it will start to look weird if I blend it. Just a bit on my nose. Get a little brush and um, put some of this uh, what dewy stick thing on it and see if I can pop that in my inner corner. This has got a little bit of eyeshadow left in it though, so let's put a little bit under my brow bone as well. Okay, so I think that is my makeup finished. This is how it has turned out. 
Okay, so this is how the makeup look has turned out. So let me just give you my final opinions on everything. I do actually quite like the liquid liner. I think this is going to take a bit of practice on my behalf, but in terms of the pigmentation of it, I actually don't think the wings are that bad. Like, I know I made it seem like they were terrible at the time, but I think I was exaggerating. I actually think that they're okay. So I do actually quite like this liquid liner, and I think I will like it more the more I kind of play around with it and get used to the applicator, which on first impressions is a little bit of a strange applicator. But you know what? In the end, actually, I think it turned out all right. Ciate Dewy Stick, I'm not really sure about. Like, I kind of like it, but I don't know if I'd reach for it that often. I do think it's actually not sat too bad on top of powder. I think if you just kind of dab a light amount on it, it just give a nice little dew. It just kind of adds an extra kick to your highlight. So I do like this. I'm just not super mad about it just because cream highlighters aren't normally my thing it also did work quite well on top of lips and my inner corners wasn't too bad too so i think i'll get some use out of it i just don't know if this is going to be any essential for me but i would say it's not a bad product but if you're looking for something with a really intense pigmentation this isn't going to be it it is more on the subtle side but i can't say i dislike it i do think it's all right so this brush i'm not sure how i feel about the brush i mean i kind of like it I mean, I guess it did apply the highlighter quite well, but it almost has a little bit of a scrapey texture, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I will try using this for different things, and I feel like this maybe could work for setting under the eyes pretty well. Um, so yeah, I still need to play around with this, but it's okay. I'm not 100% mad about it, but it's not a bad brush at all. The NYX highlighter palette, which I don't even want to hold up because it's just going everywhere. I don't really want to give my full opinion on it until I try my new one that's not smashed because the bronzer shade that smashed had kind of worked its way into all the other highlighters so it's kind of affected the colour but I do have to say that the pigmentation is pretty good and I do think that it's a decent highlighter palette I just really need to try it out more and I feel like the bronzy shade worked well as a bronzer too um, it definitely is a lot of glow coming through it's just got a little bit of a bronzy tint that I don't want so I do like it, but I will need my new one before I can decide if it's like a new favourite or whatever. And the little oil thing, I actually quite liked. It felt really nice in the skin, it smells amazing. I feel like products went on pretty good over the top of it, so I do think I will be adding this to my little skincare routine. I do quite like this little oil, and it smells incredible. I still think this packaging is a little bit unnecessary. So that's my opinion on this month's cohort of beauty box. It's not my favourite ever, but I certainly don't dislike it or anything but I do think there's been better ones. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!